Welcome back. Today's video will be discussing DraftSite's table command. I find tables especially convenient when looking to add information pertaining to my draft as a whole. Likewise, I can always include reference numbers that connect the information in my tables to other objects in my designs, increasing the overall transparency of my vision to my readers. The table icon is located in the table section under the annotate tab in the ribbon. When selected, a table settings window will appear, presenting you with multiple customization options like table and cell styles, the number of columns and rows in your table, and their sizes. Once you're satisfied with your table's layout, press OK, and it'll appear in your graphics display. You can change the content and style of text in your cells by just double-clicking on your cell and making your preferred edits. You can even press the table style icon positioned next to the table feature to create your own personal table formats. When selected, the icon opens a drafting styles menu where you can name your table, change its background color, text, and border styles. Keep in mind that you must press the activate icon before exiting the drawing options window in order for your new style to become the new default format. Similarly, if you want to paste your new style onto a table that's already been drawn, just highlight the table to access its properties. Locate the table style drop down menu and select your preferred style. So try it out for yourself to do more with your DraftSite experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.